All right, so these are all the prints that we printed. And I have to say, guys, this printer is super fun to use as you do start thinking big with this large build volume. So all the prints we printed was in PLA. You can print hotter temperatures as the nozzle can do it because it goes up to 300C, but the bed only goes to 85. So it could be a little more challenging on larger prints. Let's say you want to do ABS or something. Now, with that said, you can print hotter filaments, obviously, but you do have to take a little more care sticking them to the build plate. And also from past experience and all the other Elegoo printers, they use the same hot and assembly TPU does very well here also so let's check out these smaller prints here up front so we saw the two little Buddhas and how the input shaping makes a big difference here was another file which is the nutcracker and it was printed like this in two pieces and it's actually a really cool print and it worked out good and I guess you're supposed to put your little nut there and then crack it with this bolt so I'm not sure how well that will work the accuracy was very good and the print looks great too very smooth overall a little bit of slayering here and there but nothing too crazy and it all looks great yeah that was fun to print another fun one here that could be useful is this tool holder and this one here actually clips on onto the side of the spool on the top and you can put all your wrenches in here and whatnot else and this does come with the printer if you do want to print this out now what's probably a little more interesting are these two benchies so one of these benchies was the 26 minute benchy that came with the printer and that's actually this one here that's less shiny and this was included with the printer and surprisingly this is a very nice looking print it did turn out a little bit more matter as it was printing extremely fast but you guys can see how accurate it is so yeah I was pretty impressed with that and it looks really good minimum stringing no weirdness at all which is impressive it is pretty light so it's optimized and then this benchy here I sliced myself which took 40 minutes or so and the biggest difference I can see between the two is the lettering in the back is a little more readable here on the longer printed benchy as the one that was printed fast is unreadable there somewhat not huge difference here between the two benchies shows very good control and just good optimization if you slice it correctly for fast printing here we have a little bit of a strange print that is kind of like a comb and it helps you cut hair on an angle like this so yeah if you've cut some hair or got hair cuts you probably know what this is but yeah it's basically a comb for hair cutting yeah it turned out pretty good this is just PLA, but it's quite flexible and nothing is breaking. It puts the layers down really good. We do have a little bit of fine stringing, but it's very fine. Any amount of heat, like with the little heat gun, will make them all disappear. But other than that, it's pretty much perfect and it looks great. Here we have something a little more useful, which is a gear. And this is a functional print and all these pieces print separately. You hold the middle and just turns and this thing turned out perfect. I didn't have to break it loose or nothing. It just started spinning right off the build plate, which is incredible. And it's extremely round, it feels really good. So yeah, very accurate, great precision and shows that you can print more complicated functional prints like this without an issue even on this really large build volume. Here I also missed the cube which lets us see a little better all of our axes. So here are the X we can see there's a little bit of ghosting there, some vibrations but pretty minor overall looks great. And then we got the Y also looks really good. A little bit of ghosting but very low considering how large the bed is. And then we got the X wall and the Y wall which the Y almost looks cleaner than the X. It's quite interesting. And we got the bottom Got the kind of crinkle finish and the top looking good so yeah very solid printer guys again considering how large the bed is so here we have a little frog i like to print these and it's pretty intricate details here on the paws and plus they do print separately so everything's stuck no issues this is a dual filament so we got black and green and yeah looks really good under here it's perfect no serious issues whatsoever that I see. Tiny bit of stringing, which probably need to bump up the retraction a bit. But other than that, guys, it's pretty much perfect. We also have a little octopus, and this is purple and black. And this thing turned out really nice. We got a little support here. Breaks right off. Again, a little bit of stringing here and there, but it's very thin whispers that'll disappear with some heat. And yeah, if we look on the head, it looks very smooth. We do have a randomized Z travel, so the dots are kind of everywhere, but yeah, overall very smooth, looks very nice. Again, all these little pieces stick to the build plate and then combine, nothing broke loose and it looks perfect. So here we have something a little bit larger and this is a headphone stand and it printed out laying like this. There were some supports in the back. Well, you can kind of see still some here. It stuck good and printed very nicely. It looks really clean. There's some patterns in it of just the way it printed out, but it looks really, really good. Obviously going to be quite usable for me as I'm gonna use this for putting my headphones on. 
So yeah, even though it's not a super large print, it is quite easy to print it on this printer. So here we have something a little more fun or cool, I guess, which is this car. And it is printed out of two parts, which are the wheels and the body itself. There was a lot of supports on here, so I had to clean it up. And also I did scale this whole thing 200%, so the wheels didn't end up clipping very well and kind of fall off. But if we look at it a little closer, you guys can see it looks really nice, pretty smooth overall. I did not use any heat or nothing, so this could be really nicely cleaned up. I wanted you guys to see that there is very, very fine hairs here and there on the wheels, the body. But yeah, there was quite a bit of retractions pretty much everywhere that I had to pull off and everything came off pretty easily, except for this area here was very hard to clean up. But other than that, it looks really nice and turned out really cool. The bottom is also very nice and flat and looks very clean. That's what was sticking to the bed, which is great to see. And you can kind of see all of this stuff here was support which came off really clean. The top does look a little bit rough from the layers, but not bad. Again, some heat will clean it all up nicely. So you guys can see I got one of the wheels off and yeah, ended up these holes were just too large and they don't clip onto this piece here, which actually, I guess I did forget to mention that we do got to print four of these also. Pretty cool print. And this is actually Ken Block's Unicorn, I think is what it's called. It looks super cool and a great piece here for his remembrance. So we do have two more prints to look at and one of them you probably guys noticed is under here and we'll look at that in a second. Let's go ahead and look at this huge vase and I'm not sure how I'll be able to show you guys. It's pretty large. If you look at the bottom we can see we had something a little bit funny going on there. Just the filament didn't want to stick so well. So this is a dual color kind of like that frog we just saw. It's black and green. So it kind of changes. And overall, it did very well. It started getting more artifacty as we went up. As you guys can see, there's more vibrations and funny looking stuff. And there is a little bit of lines here and that's actually not the printer's fault. That was me realizing that I installed that bracket in the back where it sticks too much and hits the brace. So yeah, make sure you install that correctly. The whole thing to take away here is this is spiralized mode. So we got a few layers on the bottom and then one layer all the way at top. And the layer is really strong, which is a good sign. And if you wanted to print anything this large in spiralized mode, you obviously can with this printer. And it does a great job. And also, I didn't even have to turn off the power recovery mode in the settings as it had no issues printing with it on in spiralized. So for the last print, we're going to have to move here a few things. And it's this really large chain mail. And this is separate pieces, guys, which I basically scaled to make them larger and man did it turn out super cool everything stuck perfect and nothing popped off which is pretty incredible because the chance of something going wrong with this many pieces that have to combine is quite high and there was a problem when i first started printing this so i had to reprint it and that was because of the external fan and the reason for that because it bounced so low right behind here and quite low profile right above the nozzle what happens is if a little piece even sticks up a little it could catch it and break it off that's what happened to me so I had to pull this off which is really easy only four bolts and it unplugs and that guaranteed me that you know if a little corner was trying to pop up because of whatever reason just PLA does that it's not gonna tear it off and yeah I'm really impressed and the amount of retractions and movements in this print is incredible so yeah very happy with how it turned out and yeah just amazing that we can print stuff like this. So yeah guys, as you can see, this is a very cool, fun, large 3D printer. And if you've seen any of the other Elegoo printers, you know that they all just work and that's how this one is exactly. There's no nuances, there's no fiddling around. You put it together and you just start using it. And it's really feature packed, very well built, ultra large build volume, 420 by 420 by 480 millimeters tall. We got the PEI sheet, which is great. It is removable, very large, flexible. Prints stick well and pop off extremely easy after you're done. The only thing I wish is they made some kind of channels for it where it was easier to land it correctly. The bed leveling works great also. It has 121 points that it takes and offsets. And as you guys can see with larger prints, it's perfect. I love the lights, even though they are a little bit on the blue side, they are quite useful. The screen is really cool because something you can grab and use. Also extremely good UI and easy to use. We do have this little storage here, which is very useful. And the dual gear direct drive hot end extruder here is excellent and works great. Now, one thing that I feel like maybe could improve is the end stop 
tops don't have switches so it just hits the end and it feels like it's hitting a little too hard and i'm not sure if it's possible to make it where it hits less harder but that would be nice if that could be updated and also i forgot to mention the wi-fi connection or even hard ethernet connection that you can use the clipper software to control it which is also a huge plus for this thing so if you want something really large for the larger projects the neptune 4 max here really delivers and doesn't disappoint